your entrepreneur and we have been talking about how to improve, how to do things differently this season in architecture corner. What's your take on doing something different? I believe in, in um, symbolic leadership, uh, which is uh, Ingvar Kampfert is uh, was uh, taught us, um, and this is you should start with yourself. As uh, exactly with, as with the kids, um, we cannot teach kids by by, uh, by talking to them and saying how uh, things should work. We showing usually them, and they are repeating what what we are doing. Uh, exactly uh, what's happening with the companies uh, that you build or you're working with uh, uh, is that you as a leader should uh, all the time show how to uh, uh, how to work. Change is hard. How do you manage change? Of course, it's it's uh, any changes is hard. Uh, you can start with uh, uh, with with yourself and, and see. When, when something is changed, when, when your favorite coffee is, is changed design or, or the way you usually drive to work uh, is, is uh, under constructions, uh, you can feel the frustration of like, oh, uh, I, now I cannot buy my, uh, my stuff that I usually buy or I cannot uh, drive as, as, as I usually drive because I need to be in, uh, with uh, others and wait for, uh, for something. Uh, and you can understand how hard it is uh, to go through the changes. So when you when you understand this, then you understand the people that will go through changes uh, that you will probably create as a, as a leader in, in a company. And when you understand that, uh, then you need to explain them. Uh, so by putting more transparency and, and clearness uh, in, in the uh, changes that you want to do in a company, that helps you. Uh, then you need to, uh, what we usually call, to sell those changes to your employers. Uh, because as a, uh, as, a, as a manager, you can come and say, uh, I'm responsible for you, we should do that, and, and, and not we should do, we will do that. Uh, and this, uh, this is a hard way, uh, because probably people will not buy it. Uh, uh, by selling it uh, and uh, employers will will buy your concept and, and saying that that uh, of course uh, we can uh, we can do it together uh, and having them on board and and changing uh, together uh, to, to, to whatever you want to change uh, it will be easier uh, but most important thing is is to sell the concept to, to employers and be as, as transparent and as clear as, as possible when you talk about change, you talk not much about the Scandinavian mindset compared to the more Anglo-Saxon way. How can we embrace change in another way when not in Scandinavia? Of course, um, as the company I was, I was talking about it, it was based in, in Germany, and, and Germany is famous for. Uh, for their uh, hierarchical uh, uh, thinking where they have uh, uh, big bosses have uh, secretaries and you usually talk to secretaries not big bosses before you can go and talk to the big bosses and and sea level management have a, a different view on, on how to manage people uh, than we here in Scandinavia uh, and it's again uh, when I uh, for example entered that company uh, I did my my Scandinavian style uh, of working and I and I change my department I didn't change other departments I I I, I, um, I suffered for a couple of months uh, uh, because people was um, uh, people was uh, thinking that I'm crazy uh, because as an IT director you shouldn't work you should uh, you should see it and, 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 and manage people and in, uh, not like me where where I worked with, with the people where I did uh, some some stuff what what my employers did to be able to understand uh, how can I effectivize that uh, should I really listen for my employers and uh, and uh, hire more people in that dire in, in that department or uh, or maybe I should buy new tools or whatever things and, and and by showing 
uh, than that uh, with the symbolic leadership I could I get to prove in a couple of months that, that it's working uh, uh, so this is like uh, one of the popular things is to export uh, this leadership style uh, to the Europe, uh, both to Eastern uh, European uh, Europe, like uh, Russia, Ukraine, and uh, of course uh, to, to uh, more established countries like, like Germany, because uh, uh, one of the maybe uh, uh, um, problematical uh, things to, to sell the Scandinavian way of management is uh, because in Germany everything working well, uh, so it's uh, so it's. One of the uh, biggest challenge is to uh, to sell something uh, to somebody that really don't need it. Because uh, if you, if you check uh, big companies, they still hierarchically uh, working, like BMW or, or whatever companies yeah. are. The motivation uh, is not there. Yeah, the motivation is not there because it's it's still working, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, but they losing so much potential that they they don't uh, they uh, they don't understand. They they missing so much creativity of employers that could uh, uh, could uh, contribute to uh, to big changes to, to more uh, uh, more changes to feed the market and, 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 and stuff like that and, and and this is like really uh, challenging uh, uh, there when you start a new company it's very easy to motivate and improve and innovate you agree um, yes and no uh, because uh, uh, it depends on the team. If mm -hmm. if a team experience, uh, they will understand uh, that uh, uh, they need to come to, to some po type of point. Uh, if a team not experienced, then they will innovate uh, for too too long time and, and uh, not making some um, mm -hmm. some stuff but, come but up. But then you close it down. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But if you have a large company, how do you maintain this same uh, momentum so you can? innovate so you can adapt to changes in the market mm -hmm. because this is the question I see every day that should be asked but it's very seldom asked. Really good question. Um, you're doing it as a startup, you, you're setting up a new project and, and you say they know uh, the, the time frame but they know did, did, we don't know what we will deliver. Uh, just give, give them freedom and, and get the resources and, and stru start to innovate. Uh, and you can, uh, 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 as a director of a company, you can set up and say, oh, find a new business model, uh, for example, for us. And uh, those five people should work 50% with that. Uh, and you should come up with, with, a, with a working prototype or with a working business model uh, that they validated in X amount of months. Uh, here you go. Uh, uh, and look at film production, that you have an idea to a story mm. with a few lines, a synopsis. Mm. And then, if you think this is good, you have to have a framework, some basic blocks to tell a rough story on a very high level. Is this thinking something you can apply in other businesses? Yes, um, of course. Uh, if uh, the different uh, different ways of setting up companies, or working with the projects, or working with the startups, uh, when I feel uh, that that the team uh, or, or a person that have idea uh, have too many parameters that, that uh, uh, are unknown, like in the film production, there are too many parameters who will sponsor it, who is interested in, in that. Uh, I usually recommend for, uh, for, for ideas uh, to do instead of, of doing the prototype, um, do a landing page and do a press release. Like one A4 page uh, in text, maybe one picture, write down uh, if the startup or, or app or, or whatever mm. is already done uh, and, and put it online and see if there are like journalists or other uh, people are interesting and will email you for more information. Mm. Uh, this is the cheapest way of testing if, uh, if you are if your idea is really crazy and nobody believes in it, or it's in a crazy in a good way, where people are like, "Wow, it's crazy," but we, we want to more, uh, we want to get more information. When, so, I, talk, when I talk to uh, story writers, they say, "No, this is I don't want to share anyone because they will steal it." Yeah. If I put up a website, I have a new product that is revolutionary. 
but they haven't manufactured them. Yeah. Someone else can steal it then. Yeah. Is that not a risk? No, uh, because uh, it's 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 the opposite uh, side. Uh, I have more than 100 websites uh, that I even don't know the names. When I come up with the idea uh, uh, and uh, I sleep over and then the day after I still believe in the idea, I usually create landing page, uh, mm. uh, put some, some type of small money to, to produce some type of video maybe or, or, or pictures in Photoshop or whatever mm. it is uh, and put it there mm. and put uh, different types of content. Emails, mm. uh, whatever things, mm. uh, and see what happens. Because mm. uh, I do two things. First of all, I'm testing the market. Uh, mm. Sometimes, if I still believe in the idea, I put a little bit more money uh, to bring people, for mm. example, in Google AdWords or Facebook. Mm. And the second thing is, uh, uh, I scare people that, that come up with the same idea. Because yeah. they think that it's already done. Uh, mm. Oh, we shouldn't do. Yeah. So I scare people. I scare others mm. as, uh, to do that. Uh, mm. So I own this place because mm. I was first that I uh, put the website. Uh, they usually Google, for example, to do, oh, we want this product mm. and they will come up to, to my page that is search engine optimized mm. and they're like, oh, it's already done. Maybe we shouldn't do. They will not get grants mm. if they really doesn't, doesn't mm. want. Uh, Until they are really successful yeah. and then they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're on you. Yeah, yeah. And if you um, if you're afraid of copycats, it's then you shouldn't be in, in as to start a new company. You shouldn't and be in, do uh, innovation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course there will be copycats. Uh, of course. Um, Company is the best way of flattery. Yeah, yeah. There, are, there are companies, billion companies that, uh, for example, uh, uh, Rocket Internet uh, is, is is making huge amount of money by copying uh, uh, ideas uh, from one market and, and introducing to another uh, market. That's why Zalando is uh, is born. Uh, they just copy it from somewhere and, and put it online, and it's working. And now one one of the biggest uh, uh, shoe sellers in in the world. Uh, uh, this is like uh, so so. Um, yeah, but but um, in the other hand, if you doesn't test uh, your idea, uh, you will just uh, mm, lose it. Okay, let me answer. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the same with like. Uh, you can ask me, yeah, but if you invest in your employers and they will go to conferences and uh, meet other people, maybe companies, uh, your, your, uh, your competitors will recruit them. Yes, of course. If they are so good uh, uh, and, and they don't like, uh, it's, it's better that the, the companies recruit than I work with the stupid people. That, um, it's better that I, uh, uh, if they need some, some type of education and inspiration, I invest in them and, and, and have good names so competitors that, yeah. that my stuff is much more better than their stuff that they are trying to, to recruit than, than uh, work with people that are not motivated and, and, and doesn't, doesn't have uh, the current knowledge that they need. Uh, they need. Mm -hmm. So you're hopeful about uh, changing companies and doing innovations? Of course, of course. Yeah. And we see it uh, also on, on, on market because they start to understand that digital, digital, digitalization is, is making them uh, um, uncomfortable of not changing them uh, because they see that competitors are changing and, and more transparency. Uh, nowadays you can see how much salaries they're paying. Uh, um, nowadays you can see so many uh, parameters out mm. there that, that, uh, uh, and they cannot hide it. Uh, uh, so uh, people can review what projects uh, companies are doing, how it's to be employer uh, in that company. So, so there's so many things that, that uh, company needs to be uh, changed or else they just will lose stuff to a, a competitors. Uh, mm -hmm. So of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for being on this interview. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs>